Hello, this is Raphael again from XX Raphael Productions, and today I'm going to be continuing part 4 of this series, and it is how to make Fruit Catcher using Objective C in Xcode. Now, so far, our app we have successfully made the fruit start to fall, and when we um tap on our screen, the fruit start falling, and when they hit the floor, they will regenerate all the way at the top of the screen. Now, that is not yet the finished product, however. We still haven't coded our basket to move, and we haven't yet um, designed our lives to decrease when our fruits hit the floor. And also, we need to set up our scoring system and our high score system as well. So let's simply, um, let's sorry. Right now, we're gonna um, code lives left and our scoring system. And probably in part 5, we might um, code the basket to move and our high score. So let's get jump right back into Xcode to continue. So we're gonna hit stop right now as that is um I'm just simply showing you the, the finished uh, product, and let's go over here to our um integer and we are gonna declare a new integer and this will say int, and let's call it lives decrease. So this int this int that we just declared is gonna play a huge role in the lives left label that I um demonstrated earlier. Where um, once a fruit hits the floor, obviously it will go down to lives 9, and when it hits 0 lives, it is going to be game over. So again, again, you can, you can call your integer whatever you wish. I just called mine simply lives decrease so that I can, um, so it's easier to, you know, distinguish. And then in our method, so we're going to go over here underneath our um, parentheses, and this is going to say, hyphen, open bracket, void, close bracket, lives, decrease method so this we will copy and paste so with command C we're gonna go to game code M or whatever you call your implementation file and we're gonna go underneath here and paste it on top with command V now this is going to we're gonna code what um we're gonna be coding what it does in this method so let's do um lives decrease because that is what my integer was called over here so we're going to lives decrease equals lives decrease minus one. Now this is saying take one. It's saying subtract one out of lives decrease. So we're gonna make go to our uh, view did load and do lives decrease equals ten. Now we set this to ten because look in our main storyboard we have um originally ten lives. So what we want is this to be ten. And then this will subtract a life each time. So we're gonna now we're gonna output that onto our label. So we're gonna do lives left because that is what I called uh, my UI label. Depending on what you called your own label, you might need to uh, correct it to match with that. But I called mine lives left, so that's what I'm using for for this. So live le lives left equals text equals bracket and a string space string with format and then colon. We're gonna do at sign two open speech marks, comma lives decrease, and close bracket in a semicolon. Now in here we're gonna do lives left colon, and now we cannot we cannot do ten because um we cannot do ten so we need to do present sign i. We are not so we are not going to um do we're not gonna put in the number here. We're just gonna do present sign i, and then we will represent this integer. So make sure that is make sure everything is correct and you should not receive any errors. Now we want we want it to actually happen. So we want it we want to code it so that when our fruit touches the floor, this code will run and our lives will decrease. So we're gonna go back to our fruit uh, movement method. So this is where we coded our fruits to um touch the floor. So it says here fruit one. Fruit one to frame colliding with ground that frame, which is the floor. We're gonna do bracket self space, and this will say whatever we call our method, just lives decrease method. So yeah, now we're gonna copy and paste that on all fruits, so all if statements. So yeah, this might be a little bit confusing, but I will describe it all in detail once the as the video goes on. So we're gonna click play, and let's build and run and see our app so far so build succeeded oops a simulator let's click play and let's start our game 
So pay attention to the label now. Oops, our thing has... Okay, so as you see right now, we have a breakpoint. So we're going to go over to our debug and click deactivate breakpoints. And let's try that out again. If you, run into, if you ever run into that error, just simply go to debug and press de deactivate breakpoints. But I already deactivated mine, so now it's just, now it's just activate breakpoints only. So pay attention to the label again. So as you see now, we have um this the font changes, so we need to make this all up capital letters. So lives left. Cause um my custom font, this is the Jelly Crazies font. Unfortunately, it supports only capital letters, so if your font does that, you might need to um, make it all caps. It is case sensitive by the way, so pay attention now to it. There you go. So now it is working perfectly fine. Whenever, whenever a fruit hits the floor, it will go down two lives. So right now it is going negative. So we want it to code game over when it hits zero. So let's simply click stop, and we're gonna add in game code dot h, and we're gonna add in a new method which is gonna be our game over method. So do hyphen open bracket void close bracket game over. And anyway, this will be a semicolon. We're gonna copy that into our uh, game code that M, and we're gonna copy and paste it anywhere on the top. So copy and paste it underneath our app implementation, and then whatever you called your implementation file. So our game over. We are going to invalidate our timers here. So go over to our uh, touches began, which is this code over here. This code will run um. Whenever we touch the screen, so we're gonna do uh, slash slash code runs when we touch the screen. Now, we're, we called our timer uh, timer fruit movement. So we're gonna go over here to our game over and do timer fruit movement invalidate. So this will invalidate the timer and make it stop moving ever again until we restart the game. So what we want to do now is to go into our lives decrease method, and we're gonna go type in make an if, if statement. So we're gonna do if lives decrease equals equals zero. So this will prevent oops. This will prevent our um lives decrease from ever going negative. So we'll say we'll slash slash presents no prevent <laughs> integer from going negative number. And we want to self game over. Where was? Oops, where did I go into? So we're gonna um go back here and uh, put a semicolon. So this will run our um game over code over here. So right now, just simply um I kind of messed up the timer. So this timer for movement equals and this timer schedule timer. Just saying, you guys don't have to do this. I just had to fix and I just had to fix it because I accidentally um added in an extra character. So love that was fruit movement. User info nil repeats yes. So yeah, that that's that's uh, that's the um that's simply the code here. So let's try to um click build and run again and let's see what happens with our fruits. So build succeeded. And let's go back to our simulator and let's check it out now. So I click start game and let's see how let's see what happens. So when our live when it becomes zero lives left, it will de, de invalidate the timer. So now now that our lives have hit zero, the fruits have stopped moving because we have did timer fruit movement invalidate, and this. In this what this means is we are invalidating this timer which is running the fruit movement method and the fruit movement uh, method is the one making our fruits move so now that we have invalidated our timer it is no longer going to move our fruits and we did that by doing if lives decrease is set to zero and that is represented over here because our integer is now zero as you see over here so that is our game over, um, all set up, but we haven't encoded a back button and a retry button. So um, let's let's do that in the next episode. Now the last thing we're gonna code is our lives. 
and that is when we catch when we catch a fruit our lives will go up so it's pretty much the same thing as um as our lives decrease except we're gonna make it do um plus instead which will add one to our um score so let's go to our game code.h and let's declare a new integer which will say int oops make sure it is lowercase int score increase now the reason why we need integer as lowercase is because it is case sensitive when you are writing code even the simplest mistake can pretty much ruin an entire code so make sure it is make sure you type it exactly like this so score decrease and we want to declare a new uh, method and it's gonna say um, python open bracket void close bracket uh, lives increase method. So let's um copy that again into our dot m. So copy paste it command c and paste with command v. Now we're gonna go over here and do score increase. Again, make sure that matches what you called your integer score increase. And let's do score increase equals score increase plus one this time we are doing plus unlike here we did negative we did minus so this time it is actually adding to our a lot in ad, sorry adding to our score <laughs> i'm sorry and then we're gonna do um we have to uh, make sure um our label i forgot what our label was called so click on the label and our one is called scoring which we declared over here so I declared my UI label as scoring, so make sure that matches what you called your label. So scoring.text equals space ns string space string with format. Now in the no non null and the string, I'm gonna do at sign to open speech marks. And it's gonna say uh, present sign i, just like in here, and we're gonna do comma score increase. And close bracket in a semicolon. So just like that. So now you might be wondering, however, why in here we have only present sign i, and in here we have lives left and a present sign i. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because if you've noticed in our label, in our main storyboard, so let me go to our main storyboard, we have lives left and then our 10. The reason why we have to put that in is because um, if we were to, like, if we go back to our game code at M, if we were to remove this whole thing, it would, um, it would kind of mess up our label because, um, the lives left would disappear and it would only display our number. Whereas this one over here, because it's only a number, we don't need to input any labels here because, um, all it says is a zero. So we, all we, all we actually need to do is just put a present sign i instead of like here where we had to put lives left so let's actually code um if our basket collides with a fruit so let's go over here before we do that let's go to our um view did load a uh, method and we're gonna put um score increase is set to zero because we want our um lay we want our score to start at zero every time we load up our game and now let's go to our um, fruit uh, movement method once again, and let's code what happens when our um, basket touches any fruit. So let's do over here and do, here we will code when a basket hits a fruit. And now we're gonna do an, we're gonna do if statement. So we're gonna do if cg uh, rect intersects rect, and this will say a basket dot frame, fruit uh, one dot frame this will say uh, self and we're gonna do lives increase method and then bracket in a semicolon we're gonna copy that uh, we're gonna sorry we're gonna copy this uh, seven times to two three four five six seven and simply replace each fruit with the uh, fruit number so fruit four fruit five six oops and a fruit seven I right, just like that and now we want to copy as well our um fruit one because we want our fruit to respawn in the location it used to be in so simply copy this again and put it in fruit one 
Now, be careful where you um, copy and paste because this can be confusing. Fruit 1 has to match what your basket is colliding with. So, because if I were to like, if I were to put this in Fruit 2, for example, if our basket collides with Fruit 2, it will instead, uh, if our basket touches the second fruit, it will do something wrong. It will do Fruit 1 instead of Fruit 2. So, we want to make sure this is put in the correct if statement. Uh, if statement like this so fruit one is there for two is gonna be put in our second if statement like so and then for three and so on for each if statement so let me uh, simply do all that first where did my statement because I So fruit four, fruit five, fruit five, fruit six. And then lastly, fruit seven. So let's see right now. So click play. Now, since we haven't we haven't yet got our basket to move, so right now pay attention to the um pay attention to this orange here because that is what is going to make that is what can touch our basket. So let's tap and see our game so far. Now, when our orange hit our basket, it um went it it made our um lives go not our lives our score go up. So. It's counting up whenever we hit, uh, uh, whenever our basket hits a fruit. Now, obviously, our lives are set to zero now because we haven't yet coded our basket to move around, which we are, we, which we are going to do in part five. So, let, let's before, so we are all done for today. Let's simply review what we have done. So, what we've done is we have declared a uh, lives decrease and our score increase. These integers play a large role when it comes to the those two labels. Where lives decrease plays a role when it's decreasing the number of lives that we have. And our score increase is unlimited, so the, obviously the higher score you got, the um, more, the higher uh, high score your score is. Then we've also declared um, our methods, lives decrease game over and lives increase method, which we copied and pasted over here on the um, implementation file, and we have coded what happens what what happens in with those methods so for the game over we have made our timer fruit movement invalidated so that our fruits will stop falling onto the floor and then we did our lives decrease which is saying minus which, or take away one each time our fruit hits our the ground which we've coded over here it is saying self run lives decrease method so Thank you all very much for watching. This is part four finished and um, part five we will be doing our basket to move around and we will set up our high score. So you, we, we are almost done everyone. We just need to polish a few more stuff and then we have successfully finished Fruit Catcher. So hit the like button and hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter if um, if you want more updates. And also don't, don't forget to check out my games in the App Store as well. I have uh, made a tutorial about it a few... Uh, Days ago on how to submit an app to the App Store, and I've also advertised my um, games on that video too. So again, thank you all for watching.